Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and learning in the TS1 touchscreen keypad. Uh, super easy to do. There are a couple steps that you have to do in order for this to happen. Number one, you need to make sure that you get the 2GIG XCVR2 900 megahertz transceiver. Uh, that is going to be a requirement in order to use this keypad. You're also going to need to make sure that the firmwares of the TS1 keypad and the panel itself match. Um, that's something that has to happen. Uh, sometimes they don't come, uh, you know, exactly uh, matching in terms of the firmware. So just make sure you get that updated. In order to do that, uh, you would just need to either get the cable or the updater tool and, uh, and get it done that way. Or uh, if we're already monitoring you, the update can be pushed through, um, through the alarm.com platform. Uh, but in this case, we're going to be doing, uh, we're just going to be learning it in. It's already been updated. The firmware's match. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do here is hit security. Then go ahead and go into menu. At this point, go ahead and hit toolbox. You're going to enter your factory uh, or your installer code. I'm sorry, mine is factory of 1561. At this point, you hit the right arrow twice and you go into installer toolbox. Once you are in Installer Toolbox, go ahead and hit System Configuration. Then you want to hit Skip until you get to Q4. It'll say Select RF Keypad Number 1 to 4. You have four separate slots that you can use for the uh, for you know TS1 keypads or Pad Ones, whatever you decide that you want to use. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on one. But if you wanted to change it, you just use the right and left arrows. We'll hit the down arrow. At this point, you want to go ahead and enable the keypad. It, it's disabled, so it's not looking for it. It is enabled now. Now it's going to want the equipment code. The equipment code for the TS1 keypad is 1059. Once you have that in there, go ahead and hit the down arrow. And now it's going to want you to learn it in. So what you're going to do on the actual GC2E panel is hit the learn button. Once you've hit the learn button, it says initiating learn process. You want to go ahead and hit pair with panel on your keypad. They'll start looking for one another and they should pair here. So if you look on the keypad, it now recognizes that the system is uh, seeing it and the system also recognizes that it's seeing the keypad. So after it's been enrolled, you're going to go ahead and hit the down arrow on the keypad or on the panel itself, I'm sorry. And uh, you should see uh, the equipment age at this point. It's, uh, it's going to be a new device, so I'm going to leave it that way. And then it wants you to put in a voice descriptor. I'm going to leave it as keypad one. I don't, I don't really want to change it, but you can change the name by using the right or left arrows. Now you press the down arrow, you'll come to the summary of RF keypad one. So at this moment, you can either edit it. You can, you know, change the settings that you've already put in there. You can edit the next keypad, meaning you can learn in another one, or you can skip. This is learned in, so I want to go ahead and hit skip. Now, at this point, it'll go back into the regular panel programming. So you'll see Q5 pop up. Uh, as long as you're done panel programming, you just go ahead and hit end. Now it'll ask you if you want to save your changes. It has a little checkbox down at the bottom. I do want to save my changes. I want to keep what I programmed in there. So I'm going to leave that box checked. If you made a mistake and you don't want to save it, just uncheck that box and then you can uh, click exit. Now at this moment, the panel will go through a power cycle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wait for it to finish its power cycle. When it comes back up, you should see that the keypad pairs to the panel. Okay, hit arm, and then we'll go ahead and we'll arm stay. There we go. It's now armed. Go ahead and hit disarm. Use my code to disarm it. You now have an operational touchscreen TS1 keypad on a 2GIG GC2E. If you guys have any questions or you need any help with anything, please give us a call or uh, leave a comment or message below. You guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, 
and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.